Hey everybody, welcome to Daily Good News. I'm Pastor Phil Christ, and we are bringing you good news from Lakeside Assembly of God Church. On February the 15th, 1947, a brand new missionary by the name of Glenn Chambers got ready to fly to his new assignment in the nation of Ecuador. Wanting to send a, a, a quick handwritten note to his mother before uh, taking his flight, and, and he didn't have any stationery, didn't have uh, uh, any paper at hand. He, he wrote on a, a magazine uh, page, uh, and uh, he, he wrote a, a quick note, a love note, to his mother about his excitement for fulfilling God's calling in his life. Tragically, horribly, nightmarishly. However, his plane, just outside of Ecuador, smashed into a mountainside. After Glenn Chambers' mother learned of his death, his letter arrived that he had written just before embarking on the plane. His quick note that he had written on a magazine page that he had torn out of that magazine. Jumping out at his mother on the back of that page was one big bold word. On the back of the note that Glenn had written, one big word, why, question mark, why? And that's what many are asking right now as we're walking through day by day this pandemic, coronavirus, COVID-19, and the cases continue to rise, the death count continues to, to multiply so many are asking, God, why? Why has God allowed this? You know, it's painful enough not knowing about the future, not knowing about the economy, uh, employment, wondering if we're going to be the next statistic as far as a COVID-19 case, worse yet, death. Uh, for Christians, the why question can be one of the most haunting. Uh, the Bible reveals several reasons why God allows His children to go through storms, to walk through difficulties and trials. Let me give you one reason. Life's trials can grant us a fresh new revelation of who our God is. You know, I often feel sorry for people that uh, seemingly never have problems. You know, those people never ever have fresh insight into the faithfulness and the love of our God. Listen, uh, if you're never sick, you can never know God as your healer. If you've never been in lack, never been in poverty, you'll never know your God as your provider. When the disciples faced uh, their second life-threatening uh, storm at sea, and they saw Jesus not only as the one who can still the storm, but walk through it, walk upon it as he walked on the water. Do you remember what they said? In Matthew 14, they said, Truly, you are the Son of God. And they worshipped Him there. They had a fresh new understanding of who was in their boat. God in flesh, the Messiah, Jesus. Further, one of my favorite TV commercials is that rabbit that beats that drum. I know for some of you, it can drive you crazy, that little furry, fuzzy rabbit uh, beating that drum as he, as he moves along. And then the announcer uh, says, still going, still going. Uh, I always get blessed when I see that commercial. 
You say, why? Well, you see, God allows us to experience trials and troubles so that we can develop a, a special kind of faith, a, a special kind of God confidence that is known within the Word of God as persevering faith, persistency in our faith. Persevering faith keeps trusting God no matter what. Uh, why did teachers give uh, their students a test? Why do coaches make uh, their uh, team members run extra laps to make their lives miserable? No. So those young men and women will become more victorious, more successful. You know, it's not God's will for us to be sprinters. God's will for our lives is to be marathon runners, to go the distance. Marathon runners, spiritual distance runners, who despite the trials of life, the troubles that we might encounter in this race called faith, we keep trusting the Lord no matter what. Back to the Energizer Bunny. Listen, let it be your goal to live with such faith, such God confidence, that no matter the storm, no matter the difficulty, trouble, or trial, our God, our Heavenly Father, is looking down upon you and I, and He is saying, still going, still going. God bless you as you still are going strong in the Lord. We love you. God bless you. Have a great day as you go with God.